like we're in the same pattern we were yesterday, where it was nice to start the day, and then we got more rain in the evening. Yeah, all I did was copy and paste the forecast. <laughs> no, okay. I mean, that's kind of the pattern we're yeah. in. And the downside to that is it really puts a, a wrench if you got outdoor plants. It's like, okay, let me have that backup plant. The upside is we started creeping back into a drought, yeah. so we need this rain, and it's going to be welcome. However... The rain could come in the form of some thunderstorms, and it is producing at times some areas of fog out there. You're looking at the power of five radars this morning. While the um, heavier activities north of us, parts of southern Kentucky, Tompkinsville, Albany, you got some light rainfall just north of Livingston as well right now, some of that shower activity. And then even as you get uh, to the places like uh, Smith County and uh, Jackson County, you got a little bit of this rainfall that's trying to pop in as well just off to the east of Carthage right now. So, yes, there are some spotty showers out there, but again, the heavier stuff is north right now. This becomes more scattered throughout Middle Tennessee later today. A little bit of light activity that we've been watching. Southern Illinois, parts of Missouri, down towards the Boot Hill of Missouri and into eastern Arkansas as well, and then even some of this activity in Georgia and Alabama. So copy and paste kind of forecast. We're once again in an unsettled pattern. Exact track through the day, isolated activity this morning, but notice in the afternoon, heating of the day, it gets more scattered out there, takes you through dinner time. So if you were hoping to maybe go enjoy dinner on the patio somewhere, just make sure you have that Storm Shield app downloaded to your phone. It's free, and you can see if a storm's going to pop up uh, over where your area is and get an idea of, okay, maybe we should move indoors for dinner. Rain chances continuing as you head to bed tonight and will continue through the overnight. So third shift workers, if you're outdoors, please have that rain gear. 4 a.m. the start of News Channel 5 this morning. Tomorrow, Nikki D will be tracking some of these showers for you along with Leland through the morning. And you can see that, yes, once again through the day tomorrow, scattered storm chances with us. And it's going to also be a mostly cloudy sky. So not a lot of change in the near future with the uh, forecast pattern. Portland's at 68 along with Dixon. We're at 70 in Columbia, 72 in McMinnville, Bowling Green, Hopkinsville, 70 in Murray right now. We're showing 72 in America's Music City. This is our sky cam over there at 333 Commerce from the Batman building looking down across the downtown area towards the Gulch. Winds are light from the south at about three miles per hour. Beautiful sunrise breaking through the clouds in Dixon, 68 degrees right now. Nashville Shores, another good way to beat the heat, but listen to the lifeguards. If they detect lightning in the area when they're getting you out of the water, it's for your safety. 73 right now as we head into the upper 80s for those high temperatures later today. And in Putnam County, Cookville, Tennessee Tech, we are at 71 degrees right now. Real sky shows the clouds with us and even the rain chances picking up this afternoon. You can see some of the rain falling, getting into those mid to upper 80s for highs. I think in the city we get to about 89 today. 88 tomorrow after a morning low of 70. Look for mid 80s with decent chances for rain for the middle half of the week. And that'll take you towards next weekend as well. Bottom line, Jennifer, keep the umbrella handy and that free storm should up. Great way to keep tabs on these showers as they pop up.